Under the cover of the Second World War, different armies committed war crimes on huge scales. However, the Nazis ordered the systematic execution of hundreds of thousands of civilians with the territory they occupied. One horrific and sadistic group of soldiers who carried out a large part of the Holocaust was the Einsatzgruppen. These were a paramilitary death squad responsible for the mass killings and massacres within the conquered territory, and they were involved in the murders of Jews, political prisoners, civilians, partisans, and anyone who defied the Third Reich. They were under the direction and supervision of Heinrich Himmler and also Reinhard Heydrich, and it's believed that the group killed more than 2 million people. After the Second World War, 24 senior leaders of the Einsatzgruppen were brought to justice in the Einsatzgruppen trial, and one of these was Paul Blobel. Blobel was an instrumental part of the group, and in particular was involved in organising and carrying out the Babi Yar massacre of 1941. For his crimes, he was sentenced to death. So join us today as we look at the justified execution of Paul Blobel, the evil Einsatzgruppen commander, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Paul Blobel was born on the 13th of August 1894 in Potsdam, and in his early life he attended a grammar school. Following his schooling he worked as an apprentice mason and carpenter, whilst attending a school of architecture. When the First World War broke out, he was working as a carpenter before he joined up, and served with the German army as an engineer, near to the front lines, rising to the rank of a staff sergeant. Following that conflict, Blobel arrived back home in Germany unemployed before attending university again and he then found work before establishing himself as an architect. As the German economy plummeted with the impact of the Wall Street crash, he found himself unemployed following a three-year period where he received no work. By the 1st of December 1931, Paul Blobel had joined the Nazi party, the SA and also the SS like so many Germans did seeing Hitler and his politics as a way out of the darkness for Germany. In 1933, he joined the local police force of Dusseldorf, before the following year being recruited into the SD, the intelligence agency of the SS. As the Second World War broke out, following the invasion of Poland in September 1939, Blobel himself found himself within the SS as a Standartenführer, and it was during the conflict that he would carry out horrific crimes. The Germans during June 1941 invaded the Soviet Union with Operation Barbarossa and Hitler sought to take large amounts of the Soviet land and cause chaos across Russia. As the invasions took place, Blobel became the chief of the Sonderkommando Unit 4A which was assigned to Einsatzgruppen C. This group was active in Nazi-occupied Ukraine and was responsible for massacring Jews behind the Wehrmacht lines. The Wehrmacht would advance and take more territory and after this the Einsatzgruppen would follow up, rounding up civilians in particular Jews and forcing them to march to their deaths. The Einsatzgruppen massacres included those deemed undesirable by the Nazis with regard to race and also politics. Blabel was quickly put to the task within Ukraine, establishing a ghetto for Jews in a Ukrainian city. This ghetto aimed to force all of the Jewish population into one area, around 3,000 of them, before a month later they were executed. In August 1941, he was ordered by Friedrich Yekelm to exterminate the entire Jewish population of Ukraine, and on the 22nd he took part in the Bilas Cirque for massacre. In this Ukrainian town, the adult Jewish population of the city had been killed by the Einsatzgruppen and Blobel's troops. However, during the massacre, there was a complaint that 90 Jewish children had been left behind, and many of the soldiers of the horrific death squads complained about the crying children at the school. They then asked the Wehrmacht priests and chaplains what to do, and they ordered the children to be released. However, the children were then massacred. It was deemed that Blobel's verbal intervention was decisive in ordering the deaths of these innocent children. Blobel's reign of terror then continued, as he organised in late September 1941 the Babi Yar massacre in Kiev. This mass killing took place at a ravine near to Kiev, and the Einsatzgruppen massacred around 33,000 Jews. It had been decided to kill all of Kiev's Jews, and Blobel helped to command the Einsatzgruppen when carrying out the atrocities. It was later reported days after the executions that they only expected to massacre five to 6,000 Jews, however 30,000 arrived at the killing fields, and sadistically the Einsatzgruppen command 
even praised the leadership of Blabal and his organisation. The Jews were led into a ravine which was huge and deep, and when they were at the bottom of the ravine they were shot by machine gun fire. Soldiers then wandered amongst the bodies and executed Jews with further gunshots. Later in 1941, Blabal even used the first gas vans to execute Jews within Ukraine. He later said, This was a three-ton truck, which could be sealed and it held around 30 to 40 people. After around 7 or 8 minutes, all persons in the truck were exposed to the poisonous gases and killed. However, in early 1942, he was forced out of his position due to his alcoholism. He regularly drank very heavily and he was deemed unfit to continue in this horrific office and role. After losing his position commanding the Einsatzgruppen, Blobler was placed in charge of Action 1005. This was a group that had the job of covering up and hiding many of the Nazis' war crimes. With this, it was focused on concealing the mass murders of the innocent people, and Blobble tried his best to hide the brutal crimes. He experimented at Kelmno concentration camp, and tried to use incendiary bombs to destroy exhumed bodies. However, when it was lit, it destroyed the local forest. Blobble's groups then began to exhume the bodies of the victims, burn them in huge pyres, and then grind their bones of the victims in a machine. Paul Blobble was proud of his actions during the Second World War, and once allegedly proudly proclaimed near to the site of the Baba Yao massacre, here lies my 30,000 Jews. After the conflict, Blobel was captured and was brought to trial in the Einsatzgruppen trial. He was taken ill in December 1944 and was then seized before being taken to trial. This took place in Nuremberg and the US aimed to get many of the perpetrators of the crimes of the Einsatzgruppen and bring them to justice. It was said at the trial, it is asserted with particularity that these men were in the field actively superintending, controlling, directing and taking an active part in the bloody harvest. There were three indictments, crimes against humanity, war crimes and being a member of the SS, SD or Gestapo, such organisations which had been declared criminal. Blurbel in his testimony claimed that he was responsible for around 10 to 15,000 deaths However, it was worked out that around 60,000 people's lives were taken by his actions. He gave detailed accounts of the executions and massacres, and in particular what happened at the Babi Yar massacre. For his crimes, he was sentenced to death. The judgment stated, A crime of such unprecedented brutality and of such inconceivable savagery that the mind rebels against its own fault image and the imagination staggers in the contemplation of a human degradation beyond the power of language, to adequately portray. The number of deaths resulting from the activities with these defendants have been connected, and which the prosecution has set at one million, is an abstract number. One cannot grasp the full cumulative terror of murder one million times repeated. In Landsberg Prison, the condemned men were executed on June 7th, 1951. Shortly after midnight, Paul Blobel was led out of his cell and taken to his place of execution. Landsberg Prison, the same place Hitler was held after his failed Munich Putsch, was where over 250 death sentences were carried out by hanging. In a courtyard, a gallows had been created and Blobel was led up to the gallows by US soldiers. Very little is known about his execution and in fact it's assumed that it went as straightforward as it could have. As Blobel made his way up the steps, he would have asked for any last words before a hood was placed over his head, along with the noose. He was then placed over a trap door and everything was set and ready. The trapdoor was then released, and Blobel was killed. Along with other members of the Einsatzgruppen's command, Blobel was executed. However, his reign of terror over territory, in particular in Ukraine, means he has gone down in history as one of the worst war criminals of the Second World War. The fact he was even later employed to attempt to cover up his own crimes shows you that he was placed in a position of power within the Nazi leadership, and he was obviously well trusted. Paul Blobel, in summary, was a sadistic war criminal who was responsible for the deaths of dozens of innocent people in nothing but cold blood and racial hatred. His execution may have been some vindication for those families who suffered because of his actions. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.